welcome everybody and uh, thank you Gavin for that introduction as well and around this theme of receiving I know it's it, it's a wonderful way to open and acknowledge practicing in in community to have a um, communal intention and I wonder how the intention of what are we open to welcoming in today how that lands for everybody or if there is an intention that feels perhaps more resonant um feel free to put that in in the chat box now in this theme of receiving i wish i could say in this next 24 minutes together that we can rewrite the the things that we that we may have conditioning wise that stop us from receiving the things that we need and want. But what I can say is in the practices that we share today, that we'll have an opportunity to start to really calm the nervous system down to a level where it can relearn and potentially be in unfamiliar territory, exploring what that might be to receive help from others, for example. And we'll also be exploring actually this opportunity to ask, what is it that I need today? What would I love to welcome in in my day ahead? And what are the conditions that I might need to set in order for that to be possible? And so with everything and all the practices that I share, curiosity is very much the, 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 the main, main skill that we hone here. And so just being very wholeheartedly curious with what arises, that is with no judgment, no blame, no need for analysis of what comes up, to be really curious with how these land in the body. And with that as well, everything's an invitation, nothing is a command here. So if something feels too much, not right for you, if you want to take a break, then do that. Take, your, take care of yourself as priority this morning. And so as Gavin said, we'll be doing some gentle somatic movement, which you can do sitting down. And um, but you could also do the standing up if you prefer, particularly if maybe you're feeling a bit fidgety, a little bit agitated, standing up might be able to support that better. So feel free to honour that. Um, and there might be stages where I'll say, you know, invitation to close your eyes, but that is not for everyone and that's okay. So again, listen to that. Don't try and try or push through that. These practices are to support you, not for you to fit into them. So... Where do we begin? Well, I'll get you to just check in and decide whether you want to do this standing up or sitting down first, um, whether you want your video on and off first, and then begin to start to have just a little wiggle, a little stretch if you're sitting down, maybe just a wiggle in the hips, maybe a stretch and a yawn, depending where you are in the day, you might be just starting, so there might be still some yawns there, or perhaps the coffee's kicked in and you'll be standing up for this next bit. And then sending your attention to your feet into the floor and just taking a few scrunches and releases of the feet to bring a bit more sensation into where your feet meet the floor. And then taking the shoulders up towards the ears, big breath in. And then really slower than the slow, rolling them down the back. Oh, I've seen some very satisfying stretches in, the, in some of the videos here, marvellous. And we're going to start with our hands on the chest. I'm going to scoot you back a touch so you can see me. And perhaps dropping the chin down, perhaps closing the eyes or keeping them open and taking a moment just to send that attention to where your hands meet the body. You might... Sense the heart beating underneath the hands. Perhaps sense the breath rising up to meet them and softening back underneath them. And for these next few minutes, this first section of that circuit, breathing in through the nose and just gently blowing the breath out of the mouth. This is just to get your exhale a little longer than your inhale.
And for a moment, sensing receiving that inhale, the lift, the expanse of the inhale. And then as you exhale, receiving the exhale and all that brings, the, the softening, the, the differing quality to the inhale. Being open to what the inhale brings. And welcoming in what the exhale brings. And then very slowly, we're going to start to take the hands down by the sides. And then move my video down, bending at the elbows, just softening the shoulders down. And the fingers together, but the hands curled here. The fingers soft here. And if it feels comfortable, just to slightly lean back. So we're not in a full sitting up strong spine, just slightly curling in. It's like we're kind of welcoming, beckoning, beckoning in. Arms soft, elbows into the body. Perhaps seeing if we can soften in the jaw, just even by like 5% more. And if it helps to just visualize if someone was handing you that, that harvest, perhaps that basket of harvest that Gavin was referencing earlier, or a big bunch of flowers, how would we need to hold our hands so they neither fall, nor do we block from receiving them when someone hands them? This is the gesture here. The sense of inviting in. And perhaps notice if this feels familiar unfamiliar. Both responses are welcome here. The sense of inviting in, welcoming in. And for a moment, just thinking about the hours ahead, the day ahead. What are the things you might need to ask for in your day ahead? What are the things that you might need to ask for that you want and need? How does it feel to think about the fact that you might need to ask <laughs> someone for that? Receiving isn't a passive embodiment. It's very much an alive and dynamic one because it's about being in relationship. So just for a moment, connecting to those things that you want to invite in and you need to invite in. And as you continue just to connect to this gesture, how it lands in the body, staying with that longer exhale, that warm inhale, and that grounding of the exhale. And from here, we're going to bring a little more movement to this. So on your next inhale, I invite you to start to send the hands forward as if you're reaching for something. And if you've already started to connect to those things you want and need in this day and this week ahead, just in sensing reaching out here. And then very slowly beginning to curl the hands as if you're grasping onto that. Taking a breath in this reaching and grasping stance. And then begin to sense drawing that in. And then as it comes towards the body, hands meet the chest and just sense fully receiving that. And then taking that again when you're ready, starting to extend out. And being curious around what arises, what comes to mind, how this lands in the body, but the things that we're reaching out for today. 
starting to take hold of those things we want, the things we need, and then beginning to draw them in. And when it comes close, beginning to take the hands towards the body and fully receiving here, taking a breath in that full reception of it. And my invitation for you here is just to move through that cycle of movements a few more times at your own pace. Perhaps notice if there is a part of this cycle that you want to speed through. Perhaps causes a little tension. For many of us, part of this cycle of reaching, bringing in and receiving, there'll be a little chink in there. And so if you sense some tension, sense some resistance, just offering that the breath. It's so helpful to know perhaps where we need support in this cycle of calling for, grasping, bringing in and receiving. Knowing that we're worthy of that. And perhaps taking just one more cycle of this movement in your own pace, in your own time, wrapping it all with this real curiosity. And when you get back to the hands on the body, don't rush to get there. But when you do, just resting the hands here. I'm beginning to sense the breath being received through this space that your hands are making contact with. And the breath leaving directly from that spot as well. Settling for a moment, noticing what's here. what you've gathered. And then we're gonna to begin to, you're welcome to have your hands staying here or perhaps letting them rest on the, on the lap or somewhere else on the body that feels like it supports that turning inwards for you. And we're going to now shift the breath to an equal count. So for these next few rounds, just taking a moment to perhaps count the breath. Maybe starting with a five and five and then either increasing or lessening it so that it's sustainable for you for these next few minutes. Without any pause between the inhale and the exhale and the following breath. So it's almost like that tide coming in and out and I'm smiling because me and Gavin were talking about the tide just before we came on as well that sense of that breath tide coming in and that breath tide rolling out sensing that equal inhale to exhale now as this becomes more familiar here I invite you to start to send your attention down towards your feet, your lower body, down into the ground underneath you, in the depths. And from the feet, starting to send your attention up through the rest of the body, up to the head. Sensing the length and height of you. And how in some subtle shifts in the posture might you add to that sense of height, that sense of length in your body? How might that inhale in particular perhaps give a sense of height and length in the body? 
as you continue to breathe, equal tidal breath, getting that sense of lift through the body, through your posture. And with these subtle shifts in your posture, how that shifts the way that you're paying attention, perhaps your mood. And from this sense of length, then starting to send your attention out to the width of you as if the inhale is filling left and right. Perhaps getting a sense of the shoulder blades, the shoulders spreading. Perhaps even heel toeing the feet a little more apart to get that sense of wider stance. Every inhale, perhaps it's expanding that sense of wingspan, the width of you. And then finally starting to sense the front and the back of the body, the depth of you, sending your tidal breath to fill right to the front and right to the back of the body. Sensing the back of the body, representing everything that has brought you up until this very point right here, right now. The front of the body representing everywhere you're going. The choices that are to come. The things that will be learned. Taking a moment to breathe into the depth of you to front and the back. Staying connected to that balanced breath here. Just once more reconnecting to that height of you. That width of you and that depth of you. And then gathering all that attention in, staying with that balanced breath, with eyes open or closed. Coming back to that sense of what am I open to receiving today? On this grounded space, what am I ready to receive today? In this day ahead, perhaps bringing your mind's eye to the forefront here, what might that day ahead look like? Being open to receiving and welcoming in what you want. what you need to be well to achieve that what that you want to achieve in this day the things that you might need to reach out for ask for feel confident to ask for and feel confident to welcome in and receive the benefits of that. just letting yourself as if you're Playing a film of this day ahead, what might that look like? What might that feel like? How might that land in your body, in your posture, in your breath? And being able to welcome in what you want and need, what might be the ripple effect of that? On the choices you make, the boundaries you lay, the things you prioritize. And perhaps in these last few moments, casting that vision forward to 
a month's time where perhaps this sense of receiving and welcoming in is feeling more familiar, a little more safe enough. And taking a few more breaths here, just to notice with that curiosity how that might look. And in a moment, we're going to start to gather back from this practice. But my invitation to you is, with the hands, whether it was reaching out, holding, drawing in, or receiving in, what out of this cycle feels like you want to land today? And so choosing one of those gestures to settle in for these last few moments. What are you ready to open to welcoming in? And as we settle here, just for these last few moments, I want to, if I may, share a personal experience of this practice a few weeks ago. And staying with that balanced breath. My son was playing Lego and he had his back to me. So I thought, oh, I'll just explore this practice for myself and see what arises. And as I did, I closed my eyes. And as I reached out, he obviously had seen me and he ran into my arms, wrapped my arms around him and then got me to curl my body into him to fully receive him. And he co completed the cycle for me. And the reason that I share this is to receive is about relationship with ourselves and others, how we relate to how life moves through and around us. Receiving can often be a vulnerable space. It's the risk where we might not get what we want when we want it all the time. It's about leading with action from a place of integrity and heart. It's about the resilience to be vulnerable and courageous to keep cultivating this embodiment of receiving, keep taking care of ourselves along the clunky human path as we go. And bring our feet back on the earth, as we do. <laughs> so from here, if the eyes are closed, taking a moment to look around. If your eyes are open, take a moment to reorient yourself in the space as well. Perhaps have a stretch, have a yawn. Notice how you're doing in the aftermath of that. And thank you very much for practicing with me in circle this morning. May you receive everything that you need and want from this day ahead. And uh, thank you very much. <laughs>